Hi guys, so today I'm going to be starting um, the new series that I've been planning for for quite a while. So as you can see, we now have kind of a barn. Um, I was going to just originally do like a big, big barn, but I thought I'd do the outdoor solve instead. So we're, I'm just going to do a barn tour um, in case you didn't see the last video. So um, we'll get our dog when we've gone over the dog. So we have Jasper, who's a female, um, owned by her faithful wife. We have a uh, dog that doesn't have a name, um, so if any of you guys have um, another dog, the first person to say another dog, um, will get to own this guy or girl. Please don't make it an orange carpet though, because two dogs already have an orange carpet. Um, I'm trying not to make it red or, well it's fine to be magenta, but not red or orange, because Two have already gone orange, and that's kind of why I put one there and one there. And then Riley has red, who's right next to him. So yeah, and I'm trying not to make it those colours, but yeah. So we have Riley, who's a male, who's owned by her very faithful. By the way, when you are saying, um, if you want this dog, I need a name, gender, and uh, carpet colour. We have Milo, who's a male, and by her friends of 1212. And then Shelby, who we took in the last episode. Well, the kind of barn tour of it. So we're gonna pick a dog. So we are taking Riley. And then Riley. Okay, so this is my big house. Um we have this little kind of pathway. Um I just used the shovel and like tapped on the ground and it was a weird thingy. We have the doggy door. Um I, I actually like it better in like this kind of texture pack. Um, but yeah, so, Riley, come on, for the doggy door, there you go, um, so we have the pool table, so like kind of a games area, we have the piano, um, we have the telly, or the TV, what the fuck are you doing, we have a little still, like a coffee table, um, and then we have the kitchen, and we have, um, like, Thingies that kind of have to go in the fridge in here, or like fruits and vegetables in here, and then like meats in there. Um, and then these two are just empty, and then we have a toaster. And we have this little kind of cubby hole back here. So we have my armor, some weapons, and some other kind of random stuff. Uh, but yeah. And then up the stairs, oh jeez. Yeah, it's, as you can see, it's only upstairs um I didn't really want it to fill upstairs because then that's like in my opinion it looks a bit dark and stuff so on the right hand side as you come up we have a magenta and purple uh, checkered blanket or rug even and then we have my computing kind of area where I record videos and stuff um we have a thingy for Google one for Minecraft and one for the other YouTube um, and then we have my rainbow coloured keyboard and mouse, and then we have my iPhone. And that's just part of a texture pack, by the way. And then we have a um, bookshelf, my kind of closet, and then my bed. Oh, jeez. In the closet. Um, and again, this is a texture pack. Um, kind of thing. So that's enough for the house, because you guys are probably, like, bursting to see the horses. But we have one more thing before we see the horses, which is the parrots. So, I have um, several parrots now, as you can see, two of each colour. So if you do want to own a parrot, just say the lime one, the light blue one, the red one, or the dark blue one. Yeah, so this is blue, um, and yeah, I'm my owner. Um, I can just get out of it any of them get now. Would be great. Oh jeez. Um but yeah, so that's the parrots. Um Riley's really one. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the kind of outdoor stalls area. I put this just so that the horses couldn't get out of the well, yeah. I didn't really want it to be like completely open so I didn't have these, but yeah. We had to own one horse in this episode and not any that are for contest. So we have Coco who's a Clyde Sale plus Thoroughbred Gouting useful lessons and he's for sale. And you aren't allowed to make up your own horse in this episode, in this series as well. That's Coco. Cool, cool. We have Roxy, who's Arabian cross wash cross paint mare, used for hats and cheese for sale. Two of the horses are owned by me, by the way. 
We have Isla, who's an Irish called Mary, using her lessons and hats, and she's owned by me. Um, in real life, um, I've actually read them in the last couple of it, couple of writing lessons that I've had. Um, but yeah, so as, in fact, that's on my Instagram. Um, if you go follow me on Instagram, um, we have Mystic, who's an Andalusian stallion, who's her hats and lessons, and he's for sale. We have Licorice, who's I uh, Licorice. He's a Hanoverian gathering, he's for jumping in hats, and he's owned by me. We have Lightning, who's a thoroughbred Chris Mark mare, and she's used for barrel racing, and she is used for contest. We have Sunset, who's a pink cross courthouse mare, used for hats, and she's for sale. Um, we have Napoleon, who's an apple of gathering, he's for lessons, and he's for sale. He's actually named after one of the horses that was in my very first series that I did in this channel, Barn Adventures. Um, that did sadly get deleted quite a while ago actually um but yeah so <laughs> yeah and then we have Rollo who's a mustang gallery and he's for hacks and he's for sale i don't know where i got the name from i guess it was just yeah i was kind of really hungry and i just thought of Rollo's for some reason um but yeah and then i thought well i couldn't think of a name for this guy so i just thought you know what i'll just name him Rollo <laughs> And then we have Phantom, who's a free, who's Shire Cross Frisian Stallion, used for jumping lessons, and he's for contest. So we'll just go over the horses you can own. You can own Coco, Roxy, Mystic, Sunset, Napoleon, and Rolo. So you, as I said, you can own one horse in this episode. Um... But yes, yeah, so that's kind of the barn. Um, I'm gonna ride a few horses actually. I'm gonna ride my horses, and then I'm gonna ride Napoleon probably and Rolo. I'm gonna ride Isla. And in real life, she's actually a really an experienced jumper, so that's probably like, it's kind of good that she's not the best jumper because um, the highest I've jumped on her is probably about seventy centimeters or something, probably less than that to be honest. And it's a course, so and she still wasn't. Yeah, you have to really encourage her to go over it because she's quite an experience as I said so um she's really cute though so I like her and Fudge they're probably my favourite to jump so like in real life anyway <laughs> I don't have Fudge in this series yet but I'm hoping to get him in a later episode or a future episode um Licorice. And then I think I'm going to write Lightning and Sunset because for some reason I really like those names. Yeah, Licorice is quite slow but he's a really good jumper. That's why I use for jumping in hats. If I'm not riding them then people can use them for hats. Yeah, I was actually originally going to call this horse Thyra, but then I thought, um, I don't know. Yeah, Thyra's, uh, Lightning's actually not the worst jumper in the world. Um, to be honest, he's pr she's probably better than Isla. I really get it slow and he'd be trampled. Um, so we'll ride Sunset and then if I have time, I will ride Napoleon. Uh, Sunset's not the best horse. I mean, she's quite a good jumper, um, and she's quite slow. But um, I don't know. I really, really like her name. I think it's cute. Yeah. If no one asked for her, I'm gonna put her on by the barn. But obviously, that's only if no one asks for her. So. Yeah, we'll ride Napoleon and then Rolo if we have time. Probably well, probably only nine minutes. Yeah, Napoleon's quite fast. Not the best jumper, but he is quite fast. That's pretty used for. The lessons. Yeah, he's used for like more advanced lessons, but I couldn't fit that in, so. But yeah. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Yeah, and then I'll ride, no, no, I'll ride Phantom, because I really like riding Phantom for some reason, and then I'll end the video. Yeah, and yeah, you can own one, up to one parrot, 
um, in this episode. And then you can also own a horse. If you don't want to own a horse or, and you just want to own a parrot, or if you don't want to own a parrot and you just want to own a horse, then that's fine. Um, and if you do own a, hor- a parrot, then you just need to tell me the colour of it and what the name's going to be. I'm not going to do like breeds or anything because, to be honest, I'm not a parrot person. I don't know any breeds of parrot except for like a cockatoo or something. I don't even know if that is a, if that is even a breed. So I'm not the best with parrots. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end the video here. So don't forget to leave a... Oh, by the way, I'm not doing blanket colours in this series. I might, like, later on, but for now, I'm not going to. So, yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.